How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Rouse back with another video, coming at you with more G.I. Joe Classified series. Today we have Sergeant Stalker. He just came in today from Amazon. It's part of that new wave of G.I. Joes that are hitting shelves and in, in online stores and all that. So yeah, got no notification he was going to ship, so he did, and here he is. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box, and then we'll get this bad boy open. And here is the box for Sergeant Stalker. You can see there's some nice artwork on the side. On the front, we've got the figure, the accessories, G.I. Joe Classified Series. He is number 46. There is the file card on the side. You know, they keep updating that artwork to add the new figures that are coming out. So it's a good way to see what's coming. So with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. You know how we like to do it. We just cut the tape on the bottom and Stalker should hopefully come right out of the packaging. Just like that. And here is Sergeant Stalker out of the plastic. He looks really cool. He's got a lot of accessories. He's got Oh, I'm not going to go over it right now, but he's got a lot of stuff and it all fits on his body, which is something that I really like about the G.I. Joe. You know, you don't have to have a bag of accessories or something that you just put them on the figure for the most part. It holds everything. And that's really awesome, especially because he comes with so much. So, yeah, he definitely has some nice detail. We've got um, nice olive drab, some camo down there. Uh, lots of detail. It is some reuse. Like, I think the legs are reused and the body is maybe reuse. But, um, you know, we get some accessories and overlay, and it's acceptable because they're in the military. They're like a special group, so, you know, they have kind of a uniform, kind of not. But it is good to get more G.I. Joes all the time because they are so cool, and they come with a lot of accessories. So, yeah, Sergeant Stalker is no different. Checking out the height on Sergeant Stalker here. He stands at about six, a little bit under six and a half inches, so six and a quarter inches uh, with the hat off. So yeah, about standard height for G.I. Joe, which works perfectly for me. Going over the accessories, we're basically just going to do a strip down. So we'll start at the head. He comes with this hat, which has a nice little gold emblem on there. Then he also has um, this schmog type thing, which I guess you got to take his head off to get it off. Give me a second. So there you can see the double barbell, but yeah, he comes with this as well. So that's a cool accessory. Then um, coming over to his back, we get this gun, which also comes with an ammo pack. That's, you know, this, this on his back actually plugs in. So let me take it off so I can get that ammo pack out so you can see. Wow. It's in there. There we go. Got it out. So as you can see, it's out and it just slides into that little nook on the side and ports into his back right there so that is great coming to the front once again he has a knife that comes in that sheath and it's just silver paint black handle uh, he comes with a pistol um, which has an extended magazine down there glad that they went back to real guns instead of nerf guns like the start of the line had so i think this is like um, I don't know what it is, maybe an extra magazine or something, but it looks like a magazine, so I'm not sure. And then, of course, he has his big boy gun right here, which has also removable magazine, which just ports... Oh, I dropped it. It's kind of small, so you might want to lose it. You might not uh, want to lose that, so it goes in right there. You just port it into the gun, and yeah, so... Really cool that all the accessories that he comes with fit on his body. That is really cool. So good job, Hasbro. Going over the articulation, you already saw that double barbell, but we do get a lot of movement from that. So you can do the old head bob. Coming up, we've got shoulders that go a little bit above 90, butterfly joints. We've got a bicep cut. We've got double elbows, which means he can, if the joint isn't stuck, which that one is, maybe this one isn't, which means he can touch his own shoulder if he wanted to. We've got crunch there in the torso, kind of. There it goes. Um, waist cut down there. Legs come up about this far. We do not, do we? We do have a thigh cut, so that's nice. 
double knees, kicks his own butt with ease, always great things. Cat or boot cut down here, uh, rocker side to side, up down. And then for both hands, we have well, that one is side to side. And this one is hopefully, yes, it is an up down hinge. So yeah, there's the articulation on Sergeant Stalker. First up for scale and comparison, here he is with our Wave 1 Classified Duke. Um, I think the legs are the same, possibly, on these figures, not the knees. No, no they're different because the texture is different. Um, maybe it's Firefly's legs. I don't know. But that being said, there's these two together. Next up, here he is with our Classified Series Wave 1 Snake Eyes, um, who does look cool in black next to him in the green they're nice and contrasting so that's cool could definitely see them on a team together messing people up left and right and representing the ladies in our comparison we have baroness for cobra and lady j for the joes as you can see they are shorter than stalker which is totally fine it works in scale and lady j and stalker look cool together in their green suits as well so they're kind of like for more Cobra Rep, here is Stalker with Storm Shadow. I believe they're from the same wave, I'm pretty sure. Just getting them all in at separate times, which is how it generally works with the pre-orders, because I pre order them from a bunch of different places, and whichever one comes first, that's where I get it from. And for some rep on the bigger side of the Joe scale, we have Croc Master, who is like bigger like Gung Ho and Roadblock and all that, and Fiona. And it looks like uh, Croc Master just caught a cat, lol. For some Marvel Legends comparisons, here he is with Brothor and JJJ, J. Jonah Jameson, who is from the Armadillo Wave, and I haven't done a video on the bath yet, even though I finished him, but I scooped Shriek, JJ, and a bunch of others to finish out the wave for cheap, so yeah, I do have Armadillo now. And I'm sure you've seen him in the background yelling at various people, he's just a very angry person. And if you wanted to throw some Power Rangers in the mix, here he is with that Lightning Collection Lunar Wolf Ranger from Wild Force, just for no reason. So with all of that being said, y'all, I will say the Classified series, Sergeant Stalker is totally worth it because he's totally worth it to me. Just look at this guy all posed up. He looks great. Lots of cool accessories. So yeah, totally a great grab for my Joe shelf, and it's always a great day at getting more Joes, be they Cobra or actual G.I. Joes. So yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Hit subscribe down below if you're not subscribed so you can come back every week for my awesome content. Comment down below what you think of this figure, what you're excited to see in the future from Classified Series, what Joes you're looking forward to, what Cobra baddies you're looking forward to, how your day is going, just let me know. As always, I love you guys, I will see you next time, and bye bye